tale you've written for a friend who has upset you. Some things you have written are a little harsh. In your brain, a little red light goes off. What the heck? You're steamed and your friend deserves it. You push the button. As stated from the online article by Scholastic Choices on April 2008, decisions, risky decisions like the one I just shared happens more often in teens than in adults. The teenage brain is a great and mysterious thing. First, I will be sharing examples of how teens make decisions, and second, I will be sharing the research found behind the decisions. The teenage brain has many knowable traits that can be seen through the choices they make, as stated in the National Geographic magazine article by David Dobbs on October 2011, cars and parties, first cigarettes and first dates, school demands and free time, teens encounter risks both large and small every day. Their choices can be puzzling at times. As said from the U.S. News and World Report by Nancy Schutt on February 2009, a survey researcher states that these kids are such a crazy mix of impulsive and shrewdness. As told on the online article, Marisa Harrington, a 16-year-old daughter, had plans to sleep over at her friend's house, but instead she ditched school and flew to Chicago to visit a friend that she briefly met on a family trip. Another incident told in the National Geographic magazine article is about a young teenager and a best friend who wouldn't normally go out and get their tongues pierced, but at the spur of the moment and the want for exciting and scary adventure, they decided to go to town and have their tongues pierced. By this graph, you can see that risky business starts at the age of like 10, 11, and it goes up a lot at the age of 12 and 13, and then it stays pretty high in the teens, and then at the age of 20s and later or early 30s it starts going down. This article also says adults tend to characterize troublesome traits like ADC and lack of thinking with teens, but this is just because that is what they focus on. As said in the US News and World Report, teenagers' unfinished brains seem vulnerable to substance abuse and addiction, but they are also capable of feats of learning and daring marvels enough to make grown-ups weep with jealousy. At the same time, a teen still needs some guidance because their brain is unfinished with some pathways not connected yet. As referenced from the Science News for Kids magazine article by Stephen Orens on November 2011, teens' brains and mental abilities change inside and out. And saved from the Science News article by Bruce Brower, on May 2004, the changes during adolescence mirror the original wave of gray matter that expand in the womb during the first 16th month of life, and then changes begin to trim back. After sharing some examples of how teens may behave, I will now discuss what research has found behind these ways of decision making. Neurologists are discovering reasons behind the special ways teens think. The U.S. News and World Report explains that brain has gray matter where the bulk of the structure and processing capacity peaks around age 12 and then it begins to cut back unused neurons. By scanning hundreds of children's brains, research has shown that this pruning or cut back starts at the age or starts in the back of the brain and moves forward in teenage years. Regions that control sensory and motor skills mature first and then the pro the prefrontal cortex is responsible for judgment, um, matures last. The prefrontal cortex is not matured until people's early 20s. From the US News and World Report, teens center emotional and cognitive parts of the brain, explain why are mature last, which also explains why teenagers get so easily upset with their parents. This is also said that teens process input differently than adults do. Teens use the part of their brain that quickly recognizes fear and alarm, but adults use the more rational prefrontal cortex. Ultimately, the greatest observation of teens is their way of decision making. As found in Scholastic Choice article, decisions stem from the series of events in the brain that happens almost in instantaneously for both teens and adults. 
and teens' decision-making circuits take information differently because their brain is not fully developed yet, causing them to be at a higher risk of making decisions that they will later regret. There are so many stories that show how teens behave and tons of new research that explain this way of thinking. Teens are impulsive and risky decision makers who are so very different from adults. Looking back, if you were an older adult, would you have sent that email?